G'day gang, Ed here, and a little bonus video for you, uh, and as you can see here on the screen, I'm actually in the 30 day challenge forum, and uh, Mountain Guy here came up with a really, really cool um, little piece of advice, I'll just show you, see there we are, we're on the forum, about um, making flock a lot faster in terms of tweaks, and uh, it really does work very well. So I thought I'd do it for you so you can watch along and uh, you can make the changes to your browser as well. It'll make it a lot faster. Okay, so let's just follow along. Uh, here's what he did and thank you Mountain Guy, double thumbs up, who's from Sydney, Australia. Uh, okay, so we want to type about.config into the address bar. So I'm going to co copy that. I might do this, open up a new tab and I open up a new tab by just hitting this bar here just so I don't lose what I'm doing and then I'm going to just paste, we're going to right click and paste and then hit enter. Okay so we see all of these different funny bits and pieces, it all looks like horrible scary gobbledygook but let's keep going. In the filter type network.htp, see a little cool tip that I like doing is rather than typing, I cut and paste so I avoid, you know, I just make allowances for my own rubbishy typing. So we're going to paste that in there. Okay, so here we are, we've got all of these things which look again horrific. But again, we'll just ignore all of that and we'll go back to here. Locate the strand called network.htp pipelining and double click it to change the value from false to true. So we want http.pipelining. There we are, pipelining there. There it is, and it's currently set at false. So we want to double click. It is now set for true. Hardcore programming here, folks. How about this? Okay, let's go back to our instructions. Do the same for network HTTP proxy pipelining. Okay, mountain guy, if you say so. Where are we? Proxy pipelining. There it is, proxy pipelining. We'll double click. Done true. Oof. Hardcore programming here, folks. Uh, then locate the network HTTP pipelining max requests. Double click and change the value to 30 or higher. He's using 40. I'm going to follow what Mountain Guy says and go for 40. So that's network HTTP pipelining max requests. Okay, so do 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 pipelining max requests. And we're going to go wild and crazy and change this, I just double click then by the way, to 40, Dun -dun -dun. and click OK. And then what are we going to do, finally close flock and load it up again, let's see what happens. So we're going to go quit, oh by the way for the PC uh, users who use flock there is one slight difference. Um, with the preferences here, you can see I've highlighted on the Mac version, um, you can see that to get into access to all the tools in the previous video, was it the preferences? In Windows, you need to go to the Tools menu, and you need to go down to a tab called Options, and then it's the same from then, then on, so just to let you know. People wonder why am I doing this Mac when the world is, is all PCs? Well, according to our data, it's now an exact 50-50 split in terms of 30-day challenge participants, Mac to PC usage, which is phenomenal. It's amazing to me, um, given that when we first started the 30-day challenge, it was only 8% of people used Mac. I didn't even use a Mac in the first challenge. So, all right, let's quit this baby and let's fire it back up. So I'm gonna quit, yes, thank you, close all those tabs. Very cool little piece of information there. I just happened to leave on screen. And okay, we're gonna start up flock again. Uh, again, for those of you who uh, use the Mac, I actually hit the uh, command key in the space bar and then type in the words flock, and I don't even have to get that too far, and it automatically brings up the browser so I don't even have to go hunting for it, and then I hit enter. There's plenty of ways to do it, but hey, that's how I do it. Let's see what happens. Give me my impressions. Um, wow. That's pretty quick. Let's uh, let's go and have a look. Um, 
one of my favorite functions here on the 30 day challenge site and I don't know if you've noticed it you must first log in if you can see it there uh, uh, but once you're logged in it keeps track of new posts so that's it okay that's fast mountain guy you're the man uh, that is extraordinary how essential are the videos I'm gonna have to get to that right now but there you go a huge tip for speed wow speeding up uh, and I am going to answer how essentials are the videos um, and I'm gonna help this person out all right we'll see you later hope you enjoyed that tip and again double thumbs up mountain guy contribute guys if there's good tips I might make a video see you soon